in our earlier videos we have discussed uh, closures capture list auto closures and tri trailing closures in this video we will discuss what are escaping closures and what are non escaping closures uh, this concept is very important uh, especially in the interview point of view so let's write a uh, closure for example if uh, i am downloading an image so usually i take image image name as the parameter and upon completion we generally do something with whether, whether we send it to the server or we do some image manipulation so here uh, uh, there is a closure let's say so for time being i would just mention it as uh, an empty closure uh, and here itself i am using the closure so imagine that the download image function is downloaded in the image and i'm calling the closure so if i just execute it uh, there will be no errors uh, but let's suppose there is a situation where uh, for downloading the image uh, let's say I need to do an asynchronous call or I want to uh, save this uh, completion closure in a global variable and uh, uh, I want to use it uh, later uh, sometime when image gets downloaded and uh, image manipulations are done okay now let me try to uh, take a global variable and naming it as completion handler as it's a closure its type is this and initially it will be empty this completion handler if I try to assign it here that means I am not calling the closure within this function scope I am trying to save it in a global variable see the, the moment I write it it is giving me a compile time error saying assigning non escaping parameter completion to an escaping closure assigning non escaping parameter com this is a non escaping parameter to an escaping closure to an escaping closure is not allowed for which what we need to do is we need to add escaping uh, uh, to the uh, this completion block so what does that mean so that means uh, the closures are non-escaping by default uh, in Swift. Non-escaping non means if you are passing a, a closure as a parameter to function, so within the function scope, it has to be executed. It should not get out of the scope. Then only it will be non-escaping. If you want to go out of the scope and use it uh, uh, closure later, uh, for example, in this case, uh, uh, you, you want to set it in a global value and want to use it later, that means you are escaping then you need to add this escaping so this is scenario one where uh, if you want to global if you want to save it in a global variable so in the same way uh, so that is the difference between non-escaping and escaping so if it is non-escaping we don't need to write anything uh, why because it is Im uh, implicitly it will take it as non-escaping now uh, like the internal access specifier but if it is escaping uh, we need to explicitly write it otherwise you will get a compile time uh, error so let's see the second second case where uh, if it is if it is let's say an asynchro uh, uh, let's say an asynchronous operation for example the same uh, let me take a class let's say I have a class called server data I, I'm doing I want to do an asynchronous operation in which I'll uh, I want to get a uh, username let's say get username for a user id so i'll pass a user id and uh, you give me the name of the user which is a string in the parameter and it returns nothing so this is pretty much uh, the class function the server data is having so I have written a class which is server data it is having a class function that is a static method I can I can only call using the uh, class name so this is the completion block but here what I need to do I need to do a uh, background call that means let me do some threading stuff I 
let's say it's a background operation let's say right then obviously that will become and of course I need an asynchronous task so I want to execute it now I'm going to do the service call why because service calls we don't do it on the main thread we do it on a separate thread and when I get the uh, username usually we, we give it to the main thread now in this code let's say the username is let's say the username is let's say Alex okay now if this is the scenario now let's execute see the moment I have written is um, argument name I am not using okay that's fine then I'll replace it with or or we as I'm as we are not using it we can simply place it as a string so that is what it is saying escaping closure captures non escaping parameter completion so what it is saying is you are going uh, out of the function scope out of the function scope you're going background you're doing an asynchronous ca a call but you're using completion was this needs and escaping to be keep in front of this uh, closure then only I think uh, it's, it, it, it's, it's also kind of saving this is also a kind of saving in a global variable and this is also a kind of saying for the asynchronous operation so that is the difference between escaping and uh, an escaping and a non-escaping closure uh, non-escaping is implicitly uh, taken care by the compiler compiler but if is if it is a scenario of uh, saving the uh, closure or uh, doing an as asynchronous operation we need to explicitly mention this escaping otherwise it will end up with uh, uh, compile time errors so uh, conclusion is closure should be escaping in below scenarios where uh, the default non-escaping behavior doesn't work uh, what are those scenarios when we are storing uh, uh, closures as global variables and also in the asynchronous operations so i hope this video is helpful thank you